Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, Samsung Mox Apple. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Interesting news guys. It seems Ice Universe has been at pains to show his legion of followers exactly what the main design difference will be between the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the highly regarded S22 Ultra. The well-known leaker has already commented on the change a couple of times but has now resorted to comparing power banks to show fans exactly what he is referring to. As can be seen in the images chosen, the Xiaomi power banks that are representing the S22 Ultra are much more rounded at the corner in comparison to the S23 Ultra power banks. The tipster also adds that the S22 Ultra and S23 Ultra are of the same thickness and that the difference comes with the radiant. So clearly the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is going to come with a flatter display than its predecessor. It's not the greatest change ever seen between smartphone generations, but it is likely that Samsung will be concentrating more on the components of the S23 Ultra, such as implementing a 200MP camera and utilizing the latest generation of UFS 4.0 storage. Depending on where your brand loyalties lie, Samsung is either showing that the S22 Ultra design is almost good enough for the S23 Ultra, or that the OEM is a bit short on design ideas. Smartphone users who fall into the latter group will therefore find Samsung's new Galaxy S22 Ultra and Z Flip 4 promo ironic, as it mocks Apple for slow innovation in regard to the iPhone and a clip starts with what almost looks like an iPhone 14 tease before the narrator makes it clear that it's the S22 Ultra with a 108MP camera for taking the best moon shots, and it's the Z Flip 4 that will make heads turn. It's a light-hearted poke at a rival that does have some basis in fact which is that the foldable iPhone or else iPhone flip isn't likely to appear before 2025 and the Apple iPhone 14 Pro might get just a 48 MP main camera. It appears that to keep up, Apple will have to make sure that the iPhone 15 comes with slightly flatter corners. Apart from that, Samsung smartphone part suppliers are reportedly in trouble after posting one of the worst business months in over a decade. The company's part orders to partner suppliers have diminished due to decreased smartphone sales, and for some suppliers, September is reportedly the worst month in over a decade. Because of much lower part orders. One of Samsung's component suppliers had to shut down its production plant for September for the first time in 15 years while another company lowered its optical filter yield by half for the first time since the COVID outbreak. In addition to that, in Q2 2022, an unnamed camera module supplier lost roughly 50% of its monthly average sales. Sources say that, save for one unnamed camera module supplier, all other Samsung camera partners along the supply chain have suffered from lower production rates caused by sluggish smartphone sales and low demand. As per a new report, all camera suppliers supplier has reportedly lowered their factory utilization rate in Q2 by double digits, and furthermore, one unnamed company that used to have a production rate of 97% had to cut down to 74% this year while another camera component factory that used to reach a 90% utilization rate fell to around 60%. Reports say that Samsung will continue to cut orders throughout the third quarter of the year and Q3 is usually the peak season for Samsung suppliers, but not this year. On behalf of the parts industry, an unnamed official said that Samsung is now managing its inventory as demand is low lowering, but the situation could improve by the end of 2022 and part orders might pick up again. With that said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.